Hey guys, Pample here, back on the Taggart server, and today I'm going to show you a bit of an upgrade for um, any basic machines that require pipes, and yeah, I'll just get started here. Now, I'm just going to kind of do an example here. Now, I'm sure this has happened to a lot of you. You know, you got yourself a macerator, and it's got some gold in it, right? Or any type of ore, really. And then along comes some iron, and it can't fit. And usually it ends up on the floor. Well, you know, that's not good. See, look at that. Iron on the floor. Not, not a very good thing. Now what you could do is just attach a piece of cobblestone pipe to this, and it, it'll um, go this way rather than going to the machine. But that's not always efficient and it still might sometimes end up on the floor and there's a better way and I'm going to show you that better way and it's actually quite simple to make you just need to make a regular um, stone transport pipe and put a piece of redstone on top and you get an advanced insertion pipe now these are different because they're purple well okay not just because they're purple but I'll show you now we're going to want to replace this stone pipe with the insertion pipe. As you can see here, there's also a gap between these two. This is because the insertion pipe only connects with iron pipes, or it doesn't connect with stone and cobblestone. I, I know that much. Now I got this, and I have these pointing in the right direction. Had my wrench just in case. Now we are going to try this. Just going to put bit of iron in here, bit of gold, and I guess see what happens. So yeah, just imagine that this is a working macerator and not like a mal or an unpowered one. I'm just keeping it unpowered for the sake of this experiment. Okay, so as you can see the gold is going into the macerator because there's gold in the macerator. The iron on the other hand is going around in a loop. As you can see, the iron is coming back and going in and coming up, going back and coming in, going back, coming in, so on and so forth. And it'll keep doing that until there's room in the macerator. Like that. And it goes back into the pipe. That is because the insertion pipe allows for, well, when connected to a machine, it, like, checks to see if there's room in the macerator. And if there's not room in the macerator, rather than just spit out the material onto the floor, it will bring it back up into the pipe system. And since I have these iron pipes set up, it, the item now knows to go this way rather than go this way. So therefore, it's a great way of keeping your machines clean and more efficient, because rather than... Um, end up on the floor and despawning, it'll end up here in this chest. And it'll eventually go back into the loop, and once there's room for it in the macerator, it'll go in. So it's just a way to improve your machines a little bit. It's actually very helpful, and it's probably the most efficient way to organize the machines. This doesn't just work with macerators, it also works with other machines, I'm guessing. I'm not entirely sure what it's completely compatible with, but I think it's a safe guess that it works with pretty much all the industrial craft machines or whatever. So yeah, um, that, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I just wanted to showcase this one item due to a request from one of my viewers. And yeah, so enjoy this system here, and I hope you enjoy it. Like and favorite this video and all that good stuff. and. Thanks for watching.